If you're feeling low in confidence, if you feel like a failure, and you feel like you've always got anxiety, then I know exactly how you feel, because I've been there as well. And what we're gonna do in today's video is talk about how you can build your self-confidence. And I'm gonna give you five steps to help you on your way. First up, I'm gonna talk about positive self-talk. Now, I know that sounds a bit wooey like that. However, you don't think that when you're talking negative about yourself, do you? When you're telling yourself that, I'm no good at this. I really can't do that. I'm useless when it comes to doing that. All those kinds of things, we accept them as truth. And I know I've been there myself lots of times, but way back in the early to mid 80s, I read a book, this book, and I've read it lots and lots of times. As you can tell, it's been torn and I've needed a lot of help along the way. And it's called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. And basically, what it does is it explains to you why you talk to yourself in the way you do and how you can change things to help your self-talk act in your favour. I know I used to say things like, I'm charismatic, I'm very confident, I'm a visionary, I see things as they can be, not as they are. And all those types of things, you can build up a little database if you like. I used to write them down on cards and keep them in my pocket. And over a period of time, every time I found myself thinking negatively, I'd pull out this card and I'd read these self-talk comments that I'd written down. And over a period of time, I started to feel better about myself. Do I go backwards? Of course I do. I'm just human like everybody else. But what I found with self-talk was that over time, it helped me to give me a shield, if you like, from all the negativity, especially from myself. Because if there's ever anyone who can take me down, it's myself. When you start to run yourself down when there's no need to, it's a real hard battle to get back together. But if you can develop self-talk to a level where you can start to make yourself feel better about yourself, you're on your way. Secondly, set yourself achievable goals. And what I mean by achievable goals is you may have a big goal. You can break down those bits into the smallest chunk. And when you've got the smallest chunk done, you get a feeling of accomplishment that helps you towards the next bit. So what am I saying? Well, just imagine you wanted to write a book and this book had to have 100,000 words in it. And you had to work out how long you were gonna take to do that. And so you broke it down and you said, well, I want to get it done in six months, which is 26 weeks. Now, if I could write 5,000 words a week, that takes it to 20 weeks, because I know that along the way, I'm going to need to do a little bit of research. I'm going to get writer's block. And so if you break it down, you can do that. If I do five days a week writing, that's 1,000 words a day. And then you sit down and you start. And that's how you can accomplish a bigger goal, by breaking it down into little pieces and then working your way forward as you go. The third way is to practice self-care. Now, what do I mean when I talk about self-care? Well, I can honestly say that I'm not the best in the world at this one. It's about eating right. Not filling yourself full of sweets and fizzy drinks all the time. Something that I'm... I struggle with that one. <laughs> getting out and having a walk every day. Getting a bit of exercise. Exercise helps you. If you're out walking, your breathing will get better. Going to bed at a sensible time, sleeping properly. All contribute to self-care and making yourself feel better. If you've got yourself a balanced diet, your health will improve. And that will help you feel better about yourself as well. Because there's no doubt, if you're 
sitting in front of the telly at night time, eating a bag of sweets. You're not helping yourself one little bit. And what you'll do is you'll start to feel lacklustre. You'll start to feel tired all the time. And when you feel like that, it doesn't give you any confidence. And so by giving yourself a bit of self-care, you'll find that you'll start to feel better about yourself. Number four, learn new skills. Take up a new hobby. Well, I did that a while ago. I started to, on my phone, do Duolingo, learn myself another language. So I started doing Spanish. And I've now been doing that for a while. And when I get as far as I get with that, then I'll perhaps try French or Italian or something else. It's a great way to keep yourself moving on. If you've got hobbies that you like, you can lose hours getting involved in your hobby and doing certain things. I like drawing on my computer and making posters up and things like that. And I find that when I'm doing that, I'm really taken away from all the stresses and strains of life. And I really enjoy myself. And time goes by just so quickly. And not only that, when you're doing something, when you're doing a hobby and you master that hobby, it gives you such a good feeling of self-worth. I mean, that you can master something new, that you're moving on in your life and getting better at different things. And so what's fifth? Well, fifth is my old favourite. If you've watched my videos, you know full well what I'm going to be talking about. It's your tribe. Surround yourself with people that care about you. Spend time with people who support you, who talk you up, who, if you've got problems, will just help you along and give you that cuddle that you need just to move on a bit. Those people are the ones that are so important in your life. You'll find that you've got people that you think are friends who will talk about you behind your back and aren't really. But when you find your tribe, they'll be the ones who, if you're writing that book, will egg you on to see how you're getting on with it. If you're deciding to run a mar marathon, they'll be your supporters. Some of them will run with you. Those things, so you've got five things there. Positive self-talk, setting achievable goals on things that you know you can break down and actually do. By practicing self-care and doing those things that you know are good for you, like sleep, like going out and having exercise, like eating properly, learning new skills, picking up hobbies, doing things like that. And finally, surrounding yourself with supportive people. Now, if you think I've missed anything, then, you know, comment down below. Tell me the things that I missed that should be in that list. And if you've ever used any of those things to help you move on and feel better in your life about yourself, let me know about that too. That would be great. And if you've enjoyed the video, please like it and comment. You know the drill. Do all those things that you know I ask you to do. <laughs> because you know you should. And if you click that video there, I'll tell you about a life-changing secret that nobody tells you about your mind. I'll see you next time.